Day three of Dell Technologies World began with a lively panel discussion about how technology impacts happiness. The conversation, moderated by Eben Shapiro, deputy editor for Times Magazine, produced some lively answers from the panelists, who responded to questions about technology's impact on people's happiness, but also whether or not technology is a force for good or bad. The investment that society has put in AI surpasses the investment for HR, which is human intelligence. It's so lopsided that subconsciously we know that we haven't invested in our youth, in our communities. We haven't invested in, um, in humanity to keep up with intelligent machines. When asked about data privacy, Dell's chief marketing officer, Allison Dew, indicated a need for some commonalities across the various data regulations that are popping up today. So what I really worry about is not the introduction of some regulation or the safeguards. There's some downsides to that. What I worry about is thousand different regulations and safeguards that make it impossible for businesses to work and the regulations that make it impossible for productivity gains to continue. Dell wants its channel partners to play a significant role in helping people not only attain clarity around the technologies driving their business, but also lean on Dell as an end-to-end -end partner that can play a role in the cloud and IoT arenas. It is really about um, taking away some of the concerns of an organization and digital transformation is real. We see it in examples with customers that in an agriculture customer that's automating you know, ev everything um, to the nth degree and therefore providing technology is now providing better decision making to provide uh, fruits and vegetables that last longer on the shelves and driving human progress. And ultimately, those are concerns that a retailer might have in making sure that they maximize their inventory of vegetables in this particular example. You know, sort of solving, starting with the end customer in mind, working around the automation and the execution and the digital transformation, that's what we're uh, doing in conjunction with our partners to be able to provide better business outcomes. So that's kind of an example of where um, we're delivering that, that added value and why it's so relevant now to removing some of those fears. Liquid Media, an integrated global studio based in Vancouver, producing content for all platforms, including film, TV, gaming, and VR, penned an official partnership with Dell during the event. Liquid Media already uses the tech giant's workstations as well as storage products. The company's co-founder, Daniel Cruz, says the opportunities for technology to play a role in film and video games has exploded exponentially in recent years. Being from a finance background, you know, the infrastructure, you know, the warranty and the service and the opportunity CapEx and OPEX to be um, shifted on financial statements is uh, such an empowering offering that um, I feel a lot of confidence uh, being able to work with such a large company. Actor and co-founder of Liquid Media, Joshua Jackson, says it's an exciting time for creators of all sizes. I think the smaller experiences are going to be equally as important. Not everything needs to be for everybody. And this is part of the, the like making the, exp the, the pathway to your audience more frictionless. And a lot of this is technology-based, right? The, the, the cloud-based world, the streaming-based world, has made the, the distance between a creator and its audience much, much shorter. Dell doesn't appear to be satisfied with its status as a hardware leader, and it's clear by its investments in cloud that it's got its eyes on the future. How will its latest announcements shake out over time? We'll have to wait and see. This is Alex Coop of IT World Canada. Thanks for watching.